Hey everybody, here's an update on my uh, emergency power box here. So it's a Husky box. So as you can see I have uh, this uh, box here. And uh, here's a, this is the DC side of it. And uh, you can see here I have a, you know, a plug here, plug here. And this is a... Um, uh, negative or ground uh, interrupt and then I have on the other side I have a, a positive wire um, relay switch and it's um, usually used in boats and stuff like that and then here's another one over here another plug I have yet to put another plug over here uh, right now it's powered so I have here uh, you can see here you can see here so and then I have a uh, DC 12-volt uh, plug right here. And another uh, DC uh, uh, over there. Um, these right here are not connected to the battery yet. This is a negative, positive. These are uh, pretty cool little connectors. I forget where I got them. I'll put them in the description. These are little knurled connectors. Oops. Where'd it go? It's down over here. And um, so, little plug there. Pretty good little connectors. Like them a lot. And uh, what you can see here is. On the got this AC side over here. Let's see here, real quick. Haven't put the plates in yet, so it's still exposed. GFCI. Um, you see the lights off. The power has been applied. So two of these on. This is the AC side. And then uh, exhaust vent on this side, and then uh, on the back side here, intake on this side, and then um, I forgot where I got this on Amazon. This is a uh, uh, gland input, so my two solar uh, cables coming in here. And then it's uh, two connectors, so it's it's not waterproof um, because the plugs sit out. So I'm just gonna cut two of these plugs here and seal it, and that way it uh, stays covered. But it is under the top here, so it drips down. So when rain comes down, it's gonna cover it. So and then I have this plug going out the solar panel. So. I'm uh, receiving power from the solar panels right now. And now, let's open this thing up. As you can see here, I'm pulling two panels right now, about 40, 40, 40 volts input. The battery's at 14.3 volts. You can see input coming in. So, you see here, a piece of wood that I cut. Got some L brackets down in there, in each corner. Um, you can see the wires are, um, the, right here, the plug here. And you can see the other ones too. So I need to cut some notches in the wood. I'm trying to figure out how to best to do that. Um, so that's the uh, rover. And then I have a Bayite uh, temperature relay um, activation switch. So when the temperature gets above 90, those two fans that I showed you, this right here, this is the exhaust, and then the other one on the other side is the input, which has a filter on it, will start uh, blowing air. And then this is a, an Amazon, uh, I got the Gyondo, if I say it right, uh, 1200. 2400 
has a little uh, remote power on off right here. So it's on, you see the green light. And um, got a little problem here, one of the LEDs uh, burned out. Got to get looked at. Um, so now if you come over here to this, you can see the green light on. The GFCI. <clears throat> so I've already run this thing. I got this uh, these power cords run down and they go to those two uh, outlets right there. So things work pretty nice. Uh, this is my ham radio uh, power supply. Uh, I haven't had it plugged in yet. I had it plugged in. I tested it. Uh, I even ran a uh, wet dry shop vac. Uh, I think powered it fine. And uh, things were pretty good. And, uh, yeah, um, I'm going to probably think about painting this wood, too. And, uh, let's see here. So, I... Uh, one last thing, so here's the power uh, input. Runs over here to the side, so I got cut some, like I said, some notches. Uh, wires coming in there. But uh, yeah, this thing works pretty well. And uh, I got some just junk stuff over here in the corner, a little DC LED bulb. So I got another burned out LED. I gotta get this thing replaced. I'm not sure why it's. Uh, here's the on off switch right here. So now it's off. Let's get on. So it comes in this little plate right here, the remote. So I gotta figure out if I'm gonna mount this down over here. It's not waterproof. So, or I can just cut a notch in the wood here and mount this thing. I know it's a remote, you can put it somewhere else, but um, I'm not really sure where I'm going to put it. Yeah, LED doesn't really respond well to the camera. So uh, this is where the progress is. So it's worked pretty good. I've tested it. It's running. The whole setup is working well. And um, you know, any questions, please let me know. And it'll, um, this power cord just sitting here. But, uh, I'm going to put a, uh, on this side, <clears throat> the last connector down over here on the bottom is going to be a, for power poles. And then uh, the next part, I'll do the inside, the guts. So I have a, an interstate marine battery in here. Just one right now, I'm going to get to run them in uh, probably uh, parallel to increase the amperage, but keep the voltage at 12 volts because this is a 12 volt unit. Or if I increase it to 24 volts, I'll get a uh, 24 to 12 volt um, converter and um, get that thing in there. So there's plenty of room down below. Uh, I could probably get four full size batteries in here. Uh, it'll be heavy. It's got you know pretty good solid wheels. It's got a nice handle, mobile, uh, so I can move this anywhere I need to. And it's got the outside, so it's self-contained. Uh, so it, the lid can stay shut. Uh, the only thing is you have to open it to turn it on. That's why I'm contemplating putting this uh, the on-off switch maybe down over here, somewhere where it's tucked up and out of the way of the you know weather. Um, or just if I have to, just open the lid and, and close it. Or I can put a uh, panel in there, a waterproof panel. But uh, anyway, please like, subscribe, and share this video. Let me know what you guys think of it. Uh, appreciate it. And. Uh, you know, any questions, please, you know, let me know. Here's temperature. It's and uh, I'll answer all the questions that you have. Um, you know, it's taking some time to get this thing going. The longest part was uh, getting this inverter, um, which sucks because now the LEDs have burned out. Um, you got to get this thing fixed.
which is really the bummer. Hmm. Not sure why it's doing that. Sucks. Yep, gotta get that thing fixed. Uh, anyway, um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll answer any questions you have. Uh, any of the setup, uh, box, anything. Thank you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.